In order to make the palm keys fit perfectly, or the hinge fit perfectly between the two posts, I use this tool, and I don't think you've seen it before. In this shape, it's a post planner diamond abrasive tool. So what I do is, I use this little tool. What this tool does is, it's going to face the side of the post, so it becomes perfectly plain. I set up diamond cutting tube and post planners. These are very simple tools, but they are very effective. When it comes to planning post faces like this one here, and it's really just a matter of finding the right size. I made a set with a 2.0, 2.2, 2.5, 2 2.8 and 3 millimeter holes. So I'm kind of covered in terms of every single uh, rod diameter. The E-flat key is now done and in place. I'm just testing it with the spring on just to see. And as you can see, there's absolutely no um, play in here, but there's way too much friction. So I have to take a little bit off the hinge tube just to get it right. But I'll be using the same tools as you saw me use earlier. Well, that's it. Next up is the D. It's quite a normal thing when you have a hard soldered a piece of keywork, even though as carefully as you try to be, uh, this one seemed to fit before soldering, and now it's very off placement. But that is not a big deal. That's the beauty of working with brass. It's very easy to bend a key like this into shape. So just get a plier and just slowly and carefully. You see I have not yet hard soldered the hinge tube so I can move it just a little bit and mark up exactly where I want it. Now it's getting better and I think the important thing here is for the cup to to seal as much center as possible onto the tone hole and it looks good from this direction and let's see from this direction not too shabby the fine adjustments have been made and the cup seals quite nicely in center of the tone hole which is what we want All the palm keys are done now. I fitted them and just uh, put the springs on just to get a feel of uh, the action and uh, to feel that everything is working as it should and it looks really good. The F spring is maybe a little too tight and the E flat is a little too loose but that is fixable. The D is quite perfect I think. But everything is on. It is uh, sealing nicely and airtight and the uh, cups are placed quite well in terms of the position of the tone hole so I'm quite pleased with that. What remains now is for me to make the bridge between the front F key that goes on the top stack and there's a little bridge that connects the front the high F with the front F key touch.
and the rough shape is ready for a little filing. <coughs> Okay, the, the arm is roughly done now, the outline is just the way I want it and I fitted the slot in here, the hole, where the, the adjuster roll is going to be fitted. It actually fits quite nicely now, it slides back and forth and there's a screw to the back of course, but now I want to do the ridge. And I tend to like to walk the file in circles so I don't get to just file in one place. So a round movement helps. I like to hold it in my hand because I have better control than just put it in a vise. Okay, I think you get the point here. See how the ridge is nice and sharp and it ends in a nice little V. The arm is all done. I mounted the adjustment bar and it slides fairly okay back and forth as you can see. Now it's just soldering everything together and I have the bridge all nice and done. <laughs> The top stack is almost done, uh, except for the G-sharp, the cup and the mechanism, I haven't made that yet, but all of the top stack, including the high E, as you can see here, it's done. What I haven't done yet is the side keys, B-flat and the C. And I have a little fuck up with the posts moving when I place the, the palm keys as I showed you earlier, I believe you saw that. I still need to fix that and then there is of course the alternate F sharp and that is just about what's left on the main cone. Just getting a visual feel of the keywork, which I think I will be gold plating in a um, buffed gold plate, so it's going to be shiny and nice. And the body, I'll keep that in a, a sandblasted silver plating, so you'll get the satin and the shiny gold plate as a nice contrast, and I think that will work out really well. Just sitting here dreaming. Well, the dream is sh slowly taking shape, folks.